Hey, it's Anaya from Glam Graphics, and today I'm going to show you how I made this hair flyer for Valentine's Day. I'll be using Canva Pro. If you don't already have a Canva account, check the description below. Help me reach my goal of a thousand sales on my Etsy shop and use the code up on the screen. I'm starting off on Canva with a canvas size of 1080 by 1080 px First thing I'm going to do is add the background. So I'm going to go to Elements and type in Valentine's Day background and select the one that I want. Now I'm going to add a square, I'm going to change the color to white, and then I'm going to stretch it across the bottom. Once I'm done doing that, I'm going to add a second square, change the color to black, and then resize it, and make the transparency 62. Now it's time to add the text. I'm going to go add a heading, and I'm going to change the font to stoic and the size to 185. I'm going to copy and paste the first line of text. I'm changing the font to a Remo and then the font size to 51. After that, I'm going to uppercase all the text and then place it. Now I'm going to add the neon effect to make the title stand out. After that, I'm going to go back over to elements and I'm going to start adding my social media. So I'm going to type in Instagram and Twitter and add the icons. I'm going to copy and paste the bottom part of the text and then I'm going to use that for where the at goes. It's the same font, I'm just changing the size down to 30 and taking the neon effect off. Now I'm lining that up and I'm going to center that underneath the title. Now I'm going to go back to text and add another heading. This is where I'm going to make the sections for me to put the inches for the bundles and the prices. The first heading is the same font, a Remo, and then the size is 14. I'm going to copy and paste that. And all I'm going to do is just type in the different lengths for the bundle. So I'm going to go through and go by two. And I'm going to do 10 through 20 on this side. I'm changing the font size to 24 so it's a little bigger than the heading. I'm going to go to spacing and I'm going to change my line spacing to 0.9. That's going to bring the text together so I can make sure I have enough space to put all the other information. I'm going to speed through this next part because it's self-explanatory. I'll put all the sizing and info on the screen. Okay, so I have the top two sections. This is where you can put um, your single bundles, your frontals, your closures. I wanted to make the bottom section for the bundle deals. Now I'm gonna add my last piece of text. I'm gonna go over to text and add a heading. I'm changing the font to a Remo, the font size to 30, and then the font color to black. I'm gonna uppercase it. And this is where the URL will go at the bottom. Now that I'm done with all the text, it's time for me to add all the finishing touches in my picture. I'm going to my uploads and I'm going to add this smoke PNG that I got off of Google. I'm just adding that and I'm going to place that behind my title in the social media part. Now I'm going to add my main image of my model. Because I have Canva Pro, they have a feature called background remover. So all I have to do is press a button and it will take the background away. If you want to try Canva Pro free for 30 days, check the link in the description. If you don't have Canva Pro, you can use this app called PixArt on your iPhone or iPad. All I'm going to do is open the app. I'm going to click the add button at the bottom and I'm going to scroll all the way down to color backgrounds. I'm going to add my photo and then at the top after I add it there will be a eraser. I'm going to click on that, adjust my settings to my liking and then I'm just going to use my finger on the screen and erase around. 
and once you're done removing the background and it looks exactly how you want it all you have to do is save and just add it to canva now i'm back on canva and i'm just gonna place my image now the last thing is to add the rose petals so i'm just gonna search it up under elements and then pick the one that i like then i'm gonna resize it copy and paste and then place it in all the different spots around the flyer Now we're all finished up, I'm gonna save the flyer. And this is what it looks like. If you're still interested in buying this flyer from me, it's available on my Etsy shop. Use code ROAD to 1K to get 30% off when you buy two or more items. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time with another video.